welcome to the Sparkling Hell vlog. I have had the strangest morning. I've been in Kelowna for the last couple of days. My cousin got married last weekend and my good friend gets married this weekend. I decided to treat myself to a couple days at Sparkling Hill. This has been a bucket list hotel destination for me. It's in Vernon, BC. So here I am. I got here pretty early this morning around like 10. Check-ins at 3, but I could have sworn I read online that with early check-in, you can still access their amenities like the saunas and pools and so on and so forth. I honestly just wanted to get a workout in because whew, weddings. Anyways, got here. That's definitely not the case. All you can access if you come early is their library, which I'll show you guys. It's not much. It's just like a sitting space. And their outdoor trails. So I did end up going for a trail run, which was really difficult. I did an obey interval run. It was good. And it felt so nice to be outside and sweat. And then I ended up going for lunch at a winery. It was called Peak, I believe. It was really nice. And I came back because they said my room was ruddy. I got my keys. They really gave me like no lowdown at the front desk and there is a lot of like amenities and stuff. So I was like, oh, that's odd. I don't really know where I'm going. Anyways, came up to the room <laughs> and I walk in and I started videoing because I was going to give you guys room tour and there's two grown men and they turn around and they look at me. It was the maintenance men. They had the entire room deconstructed because I don't know, something wasn't, something wasn't working. So it was awkward so that I just like kind of danced around them and unpacked my they're like you can come in and unpack your stuff so it was just me and the guys um and then they were like yeah we're gonna take a while and they didn't they didn't take too long but now the room needs to be serviced again because it's kind of torn apart so once housekeeping comes in again I'll give you guys a proper room tour. It is really pretty at first glance. I just kind of had like a sour start to it because the bed is deconstructed and there's people in the room so I haven't gotten like a proper relaxing moment. But I think I'm going to go take my makeup off, get into my robe and go to the spa. The sauna is open at 2. I thought they were open all, not all day, like not 24 hours, but from the morning to the evening, but they open at two. I think I'm gonna go in the saunas. That's all, I can't wait till the room is put together and clean so I can show you guys a room tour. It's very beautiful, I've never been to Vernon, BC before. It's in Predator, 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 Predator Hill golf course area. I was peeking around the room and I'm assuming that they left me this tote bag as a gift. There's like a water bottle inside. I had been corresponding with them um, over email and Instagram prior to coming. But then I was looking down here and I was like, okay, no, there's something in the trash. And it's a note to me. <laughs> I don't know how it made its way into the trash. Maybe the maintenance. I don't know. I don't know what's going on right now. I'm gonna give you guys a room tour, as is, might as well. It's really only my bed that looks used. Anyways, let me show you the room. So when you walk into the room, this is what you see. I have a mountain view. There's robes and slippers on the bed, and you can essentially wear these around like majority of the property. Obviously, they need to come and redo my bed maybe clean the sheets hopefully um and then yeah this is the view there's two chairs right here there's the soaker tub which is kind of iconic for sparkling hills in my opinion and then there's the mirror right here here is my room from the other side they have the Saworski crystals here which are stunning and a walk through shower into the bathroom oh i think that's housekeeping Hello! Hi. Hi! Okay, housekeeping just left and the room is back to square one. Honestly, thank God I was in the room. Maybe I'm just having one of those days. Maybe I'm like looking into everything too deep now, but they just started making the old sheets look nice, like smoothing out the wrinkles. 
And I was like, oh no, can you put new sheets on? Like there's just someone, two people in the bed. Uh, so then they put new sheets on and it looks clean, which I love that. So I just took my makeup off while they were here. I'm glad that I have clean sheets and I'm gonna go put my robe on, and check out the spa. Got my robe on, got my slippers on, which are really soft, and I'm gonna head down and check out the pool and saunas. I had the most relaxing afternoon. I checked out all the amenities and I just started getting ready for dinner. I am starving. Um, so I thought I would do a little get ready with me and just give you a breakdown of what I explored today. I just did my lashes, eyeliner and eyebrows, but I'll show you the products that I have been using on repeat for quite some time. So I use this hourglass eyebrow pencil. I wear eyeliner, but I've been using this Valentina one, which is really nice. Please tell me it is not just me. I cannot just use one mascara. I have to use minimum two on a good day three. So right now I have this Essence Victoria Beckham and Giorgio Armani one on repeat. I actually don't really love the Victoria Beckham one, but I do really love these two. I've just been using this on my bottom lashes. Anyways, I'm gonna start with my concealer. I typically use the Dior Backstage Concealer or the Giorgio Armani, but I'm gonna go in with the Armani today because I find it's very light and blendable. They got a lot better once I left the room. I went downstairs to the steam up sauna and steam room and cold room area. Um, they have a ton of saunas, a ton of steam rooms, and they're all different themes. It was really cool. I couldn't take video footage while I was in there for obvious reasons. People are relaxing and in their bathing suits. They do have like a European hour, which is no clothing from 9 to 10. It wasn't that hour. Dry saunas were really cool. I did get a little bit of footage because there was no one in there. There was a view and like a mural on the ceiling. It was gorgeous. And then the steam rooms were, I think my favorite. I'm gonna go in with this fluid sheer from Giorgio Armani for a little glow. My favorite steam room was the crystal and rose. They were like infused with essential oils. That smelled amazing. Then they also had an aqua meditation room, which I also got a little clip of because no one was in there. Really cool. It was just warm. Now I'm gonna go in with the Armani Luminous Silk in shade five. They also had like themed showers. They had rainforest, which was like cold and thundering. And then what other ones did they have? Jungle, maybe that was rainforest. They also had tropic fresh and like side showers. Those are really cool as well. The showers lit up the colors of what those themes would be like and had essential oils that came out of the side so it felt like you were in that landscape, really cool. And then I headed over to the tea room and I got some tea and I read my book and it was lovely. And then I went to the pool. They have a gorgeous infinity pool that is overlooking the mountains and the lake. It's stunning. Going in with my makeup by Mario Contour Stick. I'm almost done this. I love using up products. Then I went to a room, I believe it was called the Serenity Room, and it was really stunning again. I'll attach some footage. But it was really just another like chill, quiet room. And I read my book some more. It was really, really lovely. The pool also had, I forget what it's properly called. It was definitely in a different language. But it was like these little pathways that were hot and cold water that you would walk through and it would stimulate the nerves in the bottom of your feet. Felt really cool. Going in with the OG Sculpted 
face stick. I don't know if it's gonna focus in Topaz. I went through all of the amenities kind of fast, but I was just so excited to test everything out. I probably spent like five to 10 minutes in each hot um, sauna, steam, or the cold. I was trying to incorporate a lot of cold into my routine. I go in with this Merit highlighter in the shade Kava. For dinner, I'm gonna try and go to, I forget what it's called, it's something farmhouse. There's a couple different restaurants on premises. First, I'm gonna go in with this Giorgio Armani blush in shade 11. It's something farmhouse, or it may just be called farmhouse. It, it's this barn that was moved here from Austria in 2020, making it the oldest or only something. So I'm excited to go check that out. I'm gonna end off with a little bit of this bronze shimmer. But yeah, this place doesn't take reservations, but it shouldn't be difficult because it's just me. So we're gonna go test that out. Walk down to Gurney's Farmhouse for dinner, which is one of the um, restaurants on the Sparkling Hill property. And this farmhouse behind me was actually disassembled from Austria. It's from like, I'm pretty sure I read it's from like the 17th. This was built in 1587 and they piece by piece disassembled it, brought it over from Austria in like 2020 or something because what I also didn't realize is Sparkling Hill is known for being covered in Swarovski crystals because it's owned by the Swarovski family which I had no idea. Anyways, male in the Swarovski family, his name was Gurnell and they called him Gurney. So this is why this is called Gurney's Farmhouse. I don't know if that made any sense but I thought it was really cool. And let me show you the views. So yeah, it's obviously really gorgeous. I got a Hugo Spritz cat if you're watching this. I'm thinking of you. So good. And the menu is very traditional German and Austrian food. I'm really excited to try. I got like a pork and sauerkraut dish and I love sauerkraut. I just got my dinner. I honestly have no idea what it is. I'm pretty sure it's called goulash. It's bread pudding or bread dumpling on top. Sauerkraut, pork, it smells so good. So this is the little farmhouse from the back. And there's the view, it was so beautiful. I just got back to the room and Sparkling Hill left me one more surprise. So cute. I'm gonna go shower, wash my makeup off, and then I don't know if I'm gonna go in the tub or go back down to the sauna, but I'm kinda leaning towards the sauna. I can do both. <laughs> no one's telling me what to do. It's like, it's still early, so I'm gonna do both, and I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning vlog. I am so tired this morning. I was up at the crack of dawn. The sunrise was so early here and I didn't shut my blinds last night. And when I'm up, I'm up. So I think I woke up at like, I don't know, five. I went to the gym, got a good workout in, and then I had a UGC collab that I needed to shoot. So I completed that. And now my robe is back on. I'm going to go get some breakfast. The best thing about this place is the robe is acceptable everywhere. It's amazing. This is my view at breakfast, so pretty. This is all included with this day. You get a complimentary breakfast. I got the tofu and mushroom toast. This is called like the sparkling hill something. I don't know, it's like an apple cider vinegar and juice drink and then some fruit, scones, and coffee. I just got to the serenity room and there is no one in here, so I thought I would give you a quick tour. It's just a quiet room to read your book, take a nap, just like hang out. It's so gorgeous. This is the book that I'm currently reading. I 
have been in and out of work meetings all morning. So I put some makeup on this morning, but I'm now gonna wash my face because I don't have to be on camera at all. And go and get some lunch. There's one more restaurant that I haven't tried here. So I'm gonna go check that out and then go lay by the pool. This will be the last time that I get to use this toner. I really liked it. It's by Ren. It's an AHA glow toner, but I found it was really odd. Oh, I'm even gonna come out. has to go in the little hole okay there we go i got some i found it was really good for congestion blackheads yeah i didn't really get any on my towel but loved it while it lasted of course can't forget the sunscreen i've been using this one by nuda lately it has like a little bit of um tint to it not much and a little bit of glow Let's go for lunch. Oh my gosh, I just had the best afternoon. I seen this quote that said disconnect to connect and I feel like that's exactly what I did. I spent all afternoon on the beach, in the outdoor pool, indoor pool. Apparently the um, pool is supposed to have music when you go underwater but I couldn't hear it. And then I spent a really long time in the saunas and steam rooms and cold rooms. I was trying to go hot cold hot cold and the aqua meditation it was just so lovely and i'm starting to get hungry again so i'm gonna do a little skincare and i think i'm gonna go to that german restaurant again or austrian restaurant in the farmhouse because the views are really cute and i feel like going for a walk how freaking gorgeous is the room at night Hold up, it's not even focusing. There we go. So pretty. And then there's this detail. This is what is over the bathtub. Here it is again. And then the crystal fireplace. Sparkling Hill. It's gonna be really hard to leave this place. Last night after dinner, I actually went back down to the spa and did the saunas again. And it was lovely. And then I had a bath and then I went to bed. I'm still in Kelowna for a couple more days. I'm just not staying at Sparkling Hill. My friend gets married this weekend. So yeah, thanks for watching. Would definitely recommend this place. Definitely put it on your bucket list. It would be really good for like a honeymoon or um, an anniversary or something like that or a girl's trip or a solo trip Anyways, thanks for watching. Make sure you like comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next vlog